Uh, high? High, right? Oh shit, I just did the DreamWorks thing again. I'm so uninventive sometimes. I'm so mean to myself. No, it's ridiculous. Hi, I'm Sunbird. Just a little, it's okay. Just a little Sunbird. Hair's cut. Oh my god, yeah. Fuck, I haven't been live in a while. Yeah, hair is cut and re -dyed. Look how beautiful it is. Hello, Violets. Hello, Lux. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't like how it's sitting at the exact moment because I'm wearing, you know, a headset, but fair enough. Can you see how, can you see how tired I am? <laughs> Fuck, that's the first thought I had when I saw my face. Like, fucking hell, man, you look exhausted. But I've just had like a beef organ Josh, so it, life honestly can't be that bad. And I can hear Baby K giggling in the shower with his mum, so like life's good. He also grabbed his drinking bottle, right? Um, and then poured it all over Dad. Which you may be able to see, because that's not some ridiculous pit stain, nor is it some sort of ridiculous um, lactation for me. It's just a damp jumper. <laughs> You're very simple. Cleric, I'm so sorry. I remembered to put sunscreen on my baby child, and I did not remember to put it on me or anyone else. Nor did I wear a hat. You were wearing a hat. I don't know how this happened. Yes, that's right. For my birthday, which is in the area of today, we're on the internet. Doesn't hurt to be a little more discreet. Um, we went to a medieval fair near Canberra in Queen Bien, and it was pretty fucking great. That's for goddamn sure. I didn't buy a sword, but it was close. It was real close. <laughs> Contact. Contact with my father, uh, I, like relatively good contact, just a happy birthday message. It reminded me that I probably should have bought a sword. Um, I will explain more to people, perhaps on my Discord server, which you can get to by typing exclamation mark class. It'll be good to see you. Um, you should also notice, like, I don't know if this continues, but uh, if it's continuing, because I haven't updated the actual schedule on Twitch in a while. But my calendar says I should be playing Baldur's Gate 3. We are still playing Shadowrun Dragonfall, and it's not just because I want to finish Dragonfall, though I really do. The mod manager release has fucked us. Oh, baby question. <laughs> oh, that's so good. There's no drink bottle involved. Rite of passage. Congrats on being peed on. Father of question mark. It's about as detailed as I'm going to get. <laughs> I did have local sword mistress and sword mistresses, but uh, it was a do I want to spend X amount of money on sword as well as uh, baby is saying I want to go home now. So that was called off <laughs> for now. I have cards and in addition, I still know the sword mistress and sword mistresses. So like. I think the hardest part of the whole process is going to be like trying to explain to the sword mistress that I don't want rapier. <laughs> as fitting as it is for a bard, I don't need that. Huh. Oh, incredible. That's good. That's perfect. You should map my keyblade on the wall behind me. Which one? The foam one that's broken? Not that one. The very heavy metal one? Yes. But... Be careful. Because <laughs> it's very heavy. One sec. Sorry. Yeah, there are lots of opinions on swords, which happens when you're knowledgeable about something. Right? The very heavy. Perfect. I have um, been watching a very long stream by Super Epic Wolf, who, like, for someone who doesn't really like anime, it is funny that. I really enjoy watching this very anime-focused guy talk about stuff. So I've enjoyed his videos for some time. Sucked in by a great video on The Simpsons. And then sucked in more recently and... Well, slightly more recently and far more deeply when he had a... Hour and a bit long video about Garfield. Um, as I've said to Beloved Girlfriend a few times, I don't know if I, like, love Garfield comics. So much as I love what the internet has done to Garfield. I love the meme. 
much more than anything else. Um, so <laughs> I quite liked this guy, his long video about Garfield. Because like putting on a Garfield suit to talk about his own struggles with mental health is very funny. Like that's a great bit. And that he seems to have embraced the hate of the Garfield suit because it's so goddamn hot. I have a bear coat that's also ridiculously hot, so I get it. Is really engaging to me, especially after like an A to 13, is something a very long edited stream of Fear and Hunger 1, which I will not play on stream. It's not for me. It's too difficult. And in addition, it it hits way too many triggers and to have it on Twitch, you need to run a censored mod and the category is banned by Twitch because it's too dark R-rated or more. Like, yeah, it's rough, right? But I think it's a pretty interesting work of art and I love watching it. I don't want to play it myself. I kind of hate that we had to, he had to run the censor mod but because otherwise it get demonetized. But there are a lot of dicks on screen and they're not friendly dicks. They're the only kind I like, so I don't blame him. Anyway, after eight hours or so of build-up, or more, he had the sensor mod edited to replace the final, 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 final boss uh, <laughs> with a excellent, beautiful version of the fucked up Garfield in the vein of R uh, slash I'm sorry, John. And then he hammed it up. Of course he knew it was coming, but like, so funny, so good, incredible, and probably uh, an excellent example of why wrestlers, because he is an amateur wrestler as well, are so good at just like staying in character when unexpected things happen, even if the character isn't super in depth. Uh, other news, fe people's fetish schedules were sent out and my 10 person game has two full sessions and one not quite full session, so... I'm very happy with that. I'm going to try and drag as many more other people onto that to make three full sessions as I can. And since I believe I'm early Saturday morning for the first game, I may be able to actively convince other people, hey, uh, by saying, hey, I've got sessions later. This game works a lot better the more people playing it. So if you enjoyed it, you could do me a big favor by spreading a word. Hit Pendril and end both of them or just blow up one? We're pretty wounded, so let's not <laughs> fuck ourselves up, huh? Yeah, apparently they do, Loxy. The blurb's good. I've also had the unimitable, amazing druid, not his real name, uh, give me, like, feedback and an update. Uh, just like, uh, I needed, I've had it by Z Feldspar who has a different VTuber name on Twitch, whatever. I was like, hey, I just I just need people who played and written a lot of LARPs. Please just tell me there's enough to go on. Please tell me it's all right. And he's like, yeah, you're totally good. I only noticed one thing. And Oh, no, that was me. Sorry, I made the... <laughs> I read it wrong. That was me. Uh, otherwise, you're good. I'm like, okay, fuck yeah, let's go. But... Um... Oh, because that costs two. Dab? Alright, well, let's just... Well, you're wounded. How about you move? Yeah, there you go. Use cover, right? <gasps> you watch some VOD. Some of my VOD. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Wait. I'm presuming mine, but it could have been anyone's, really. I have line of sight. That one's... Nearly down. It's got no AP. Awesome. It also has no AP. We succeeded. Mission accomplished. Well, it's pretty good. Um, we should note, like, it's not... Oh, yeah. It's not really helping explain what the fuck's going on. Oh, well, like, we spoke to the spirit of the dragon who was like, Hey, I've been trapped here for ages, please help free me. And we're like, okay. Because there's... They're keeping a dragon in the basement, and the dude we came... Green Winter is the person we came here to rescue. 
Oh, great, no spins. Uh, Vauclair, we came here to rescue. Turns out that he's fucking nuts. Yeah, so we're definitely going to free the dragon. We're not going to not free the dragon. What'll be evil? Heal off to combat, done. Right? So that that's good. But we dropped through the ceiling and we... And we explored one area, and then another area, and then another area, and here this is the third one, and the whole time I'm going, because at the end of last episode I was like, come on man. Yeah, security guy released the um, test subjects, and we all, <laughs> we killed them in one round. Each. Which is pretty, like, cool. Good. You'd want to feel at least a little bit overpowered when you're coming to the end of the game, or my main strategy isn't going to work because I don't think tactically, remember? HVAC controls. Amazing. Let's poison everyone. Fuck. Intake fans. Oh my god, comrade, we're so glad. I told everyone to send you best wishes and lots of love, but I'm not sure if it got through to you. Because people don't always do exactly as I tell them to. Firing range, bulk storage, CIC. So... Three. Sealed container of deadly nerve gas. Excellent. What do I put that in vent three? <laughs> the air begins to stir and then develops a stronger pool of air as as air is sucked rapidly through the large circular vent. The light above number three is currently lit. Function the nerve gas container and place it in the intake. That's okay, my man. It is... I am glad to hear that you're alive. That is a big plus to me. I hope you take the opportunity to rest further, play more video games, and chill. Oh, I have some news. For birthday, I was very brave and asked for something that I wanted, which is hard for me. And I asked two people, and I don't know whether they put, took up a collection or whether they were just generous, if I could get a new controller. And I listed the a, a coolest pie in the sky potential, please, as well as a more reasonable one. And they got the fancy one, so I have a Xbox One Elite. And I... It's beautiful. Oh my god. I'm going to get a wireless receiver for it. Because um, it can, like... Connects to my computer, runs perfectly, and it's a dream to play Elden, Elden Ring with it, even if I'm too fucking sleepy to play much Elden Ring, so I'll give that another go soon. <laughs> um, it still worked. It was still absolutely a beauty to use, highly enjoyable, I'm glad it happened. But, uh, no, no buts about it. I, there are other things I'm going to do with it. And I don't know if they're totally possible yet, or whether I'll discover how possible they are. Like, can it connect to two computers at once? What if one of them's Bluetooth and the other one's not? Does that help? You know, we'll figure that out. So what I'd like to do is use it on my, uh, the laptop I use for, like, streaming from my home computer to the TV. If that works... Fuck. Not a chance, okay. So you can't see anyone. You go there. A phosphorus grenade these fucks. Well, that could be a worse miss. You hit someone, right? 72%, raise the no to. All right, that's a lot of enemies in this room. Look at how much armor Glory has. She's going to be fine. Fuck. Yeah, so it's a very fancy controller. I'd like to be able to use it wirelessly uh, at the TV and at my computer. That'd be great, but I'd be super happy I'm super happy with it now and I'd be super happy if it didn't get like any more fancy and wireless at my home PC because like my big computer doesn't have a Bluetooth receiver uh, the wireless keyboard is Logitech 
exclusive. I could, fuck, I could probably fuck with that, couldn't I? I think Willow is <laughs> having a bad influence on me and making me think, how much more, like, personalized and weird can I make this bit of tech? What sort of technomancy can I do? You kind of need to be at least slightly in the line of fire. I hate that. That's bad, but we can put a ley line on Pendulin. There you go, buddy. Yeah, a bit of buff to Iger won't go poorly either, because now we can use double shot with a bit more confidence that we'll get somewhere good with it. Go! Like I said, a bit more. <laughs> hey, we'll smack up the mage. You know, it's not terrible. Go! God damn, man. So I think a fireball item is not a bad idea. Oh, that's only one. Should it hit Pendulin? He's, he's winded four. Dragon Slayer Totem, man. Oh, wow, dude. Dragon Slayer Totem demands that you get up. Get in the thick of it, cause some trouble. Just, yeah, we need to reload anyway. That kind of limits our options. <laughs> That's an amazing block in six damage, but better than nothing. A lot of paramilitary fucks just running around causing trouble here. Jeez. It's very cyberpunk, but to think, oh, jeez, so many of these. Do you think we're. Are we the baddies? Like, we're in a massive underground base. I just don't think anything good is happening here. But then what do you do? Quit your job? I just don't think they let you do that. That's probably how they manage it, huh? Boop. You got a lot of armor there, mercenary. Shame if someone shot through it entirely. There is a wound to heal. I think you're giving me any error message instead of the one that actually matters. And Glory will finish him off. Because of course she will. Anyone else afraid when she missed that, missed that first attack? Because I was. After I so confidently said, and Glory will... Wounded... Pretty, yeah, pretty wounded. Go! <laughs> God bless all that body we spent on him. Yeah, I should do. Sometimes you hear a loud noise and you just wait. Now we're all good. Cool. Oh man. 
Um, geez, okay. Uh, eight or, or eight? Nope, okay. This box of equipment probably helps a lot, but instead, let's just transition out of here. This chamber is equipped with a small emergency medical suite. The system appears to be designed to automatically treat major tissue damage in high trauma situations. The machine lights up as you approach, making a soft humming sound. A line of text appears on the unit's LCD screen. Boom minor mod emergency field trauma unit online. OS 1.213 initializing. Please stand by. Feedings. Greetings, trauma victim. Would you like to activate treatment protocols? For your treatment history. Multiple third degree burns, multiple third degree burns, multiple second degree burns, minor chemical burns, multiple third degree burns. All right. Time to heal up. Oh my God, I used the med kits for no reason. How could I have known? Yeah, well, we've just got a gold trauma kit. Pass out the med kits. A fancy med kit per person. Okay, well. Uh... We don't need to fire one, right? Because it's a dragon. Are we going to fight the dragon? What are we going to do? I just I wish I could determine who's picking it up because like, you can't move this. Give it to anyone else. I kind of want the grenade just in case. All right. What's this? We're gearing up. This is a boss fight. We're so fucked. I'm not smart enough to do this. <laughs> yes, I am. That's ridiculous. Come on, Jimbus. You were smart enough not to buy a sword just because you they, they put it in your hand and you're like, oh my god. Oh my god, big shining sword. <laughs> Dragonfall. You exit the clean room to find yourself at the threshold of a vast underground chamber. If the abandoned facility that you just fought through is purgatory, then you stand, now stand at the gateway to hell. The heat emanating from up ahead hits you like a hammer. The smell of sulfur and ozone is enough to make your lunch want to find somewhere to hide. Above the noise created by the whir of the turbines, you can hear the deep rumble of something feral waking up. Something very, very big. You check your weapons and step into the last chamber. Sorry, scary wrench. You've got an excellent name, but you have been spamming. Scary bot gotcha. The smell of sulfur and ozone fills the cavernous chamber. Despite the whir of several high output exhaust fans, the heat is tremendous. As you enter, you hear a loud click followed by the squeal of audio feedback. Then Adrian Vauclair's voice booms over the loudspeakers. I don't know how you escaped the laboratory, but please stop. I must complete the virus infusion process. I must release her. Uh, a futuristic species depends on it. Dr. Verclair, I think your obsession with dragons has progressed to the point that you are no longer in control of your actions. A heavy sigh comes across the speakers. I must admit that I have thought the, this very thing in my weaker hours. In the morning as my dreams recede and conscious thought returns. In that grey state I've lain in my bed alone and wrestled with the thought. But at the end of the day, I'm a man of action. I've always been so. While businessmen and politicians deliberate in their boardrooms and committees, I've done what needed to be done. And here I am, executing the greatest act of service that I can conceive of. Uh, salvation of humanity itself. The time for discussion is over. I'm done debating with you. He pauses, puzzled. Still, I must explain, understand how you escaped the test lab. A thought comes to him, and his tired eyes glitter in triumph. It was her, wasn't it? Firefing. It must be. You made some sort of deal. She helped you to escape, and in return, you will help her rejoin her dragon body. You're getting kind of paranoid, aren't you? What did she promise to you? Gold? Jewels? Eternal life? She offered them to me as well. For decades. It doesn't matter now. The infusion process has begun. The dragon is waking up. Soon she will take flight. But you will not be alive to witness that. Audrin, ensure that they don't. Well, rematch with Audrin, maybe. Fuck you. Did you see that open with 23? Wow. It's 
three, three, three. Mage. Well, gank the mage. I don't know why I assume I had 4 AP with him. I don't. Okay, let's stop fucking about then. We need to get into cover. Well, which there is none. Except that. Okay, go there. Nine? Get cover, stand on a ley line. Fireball him. Say goodbye to your AP, buddy. Seventeen, and you're gonna take seven from bleeding. We still need to hit you at least once. And you just die. Yeah. Med kit. Matrix pump access, use pump station. I still think your best bet is to kill him, Glory. Now, Deer Trick, you're my buff boy, so you could definitely go. Panacea pump station 1, infusion management system version 4.5.1, infusion sequence initiated. Warning, panacea, panacea infusion sequence is locked, disengage security safety protocol to enable emergency venting of virus, disengage safety protocol, vent A. Vent A safety protocol disengaged, vent A is now unlocked for manual venting. Note, the virus infusion process will automatically reinitiate after emergency venting. Well, jeez man. Use vent hatch. Well, you can't touch it yet. Okay, so I see two vents there. We'll have to touch them both, I guess. Um, let's reduce the AP of this guy. There you go. Oh, I'm damaged too, so I don't hate that. Um. Let's see, I'd rather get a chance at a big hit. Minus five HP per round. Cool. Matrix pump access. Oh wait. It doesn't have decking. Why is that blocked? Why is that blocked? Well, I screwed myself then. Um presumably Audrin's gonna come out of there, right? Probably. That guy's a jerk. That's kind of what he does. You didn't take damage at all. You lied to me. Well, it's a shame you're not quite grouped up enough for this to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. But I mean, you, you can't. Use vent hatch. Venting virus. Virus venting. Infusion. Dece decelerated. Nice. We love that. You can't hit very well, so let's just run over here. Dietrich, you're going to save the goddamn day. Disengage safety. Vent B safety protocol disengaged. I'm like, well, can you stand on a ley line? So hopefully you don't explode and die. Nice. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't know who these fuckers are, but I don't trust them. What? Lost AP, jeez, he's in Malay, huh? Well, guess what? I can do that too. Just before, right? Before I get 
Deatrix will run over. Because maybe everything doesn't go my way forever. Like, fake news. That would never happen. But, yeah. I'm a very lucky Jibbles. We all know this. So... I look like a normal elf to you. Oh, Firewing breathes fire on the bodyguard. That's pretty good. Just mercenary mage. Okay. Ooh. Fuck. Okay. Keep the process going, Doctor. I'll kill them myself. Oh, that here. Oh, okay. All right. So that was both Glory and his ally. It's actually quite a lot of enemies going on right now. Ball lightning. So it's got deflect. Incoming damage is reduced, but you can probably still hit. That will get him. I can't get anyone else. It's dangerous for all three actions on one chance? I don't think so. Let's protect ourselves. Let's play slightly more conservatively, huh? I know, I know. Sin. How dare I? Me of all people. And still. Oh, well, great. Oh, healing is so good. Keeping an eye on my phone because I know baby K is falling asleep. And if he not misbehaves but has a hard time getting to sleep, then I'm, and the stitches may ask me for assistance. And then I'm going to disappear for just a moment. But I'm still confident we're going to finish. Dragonfall tonight. Brain said Baldur's Gate. <laughs> like, no, man. I'm fairly sure I mentioned on stream, like, I don't know if I can finish Baldur's Gate again. Not with the same Slam Shadows, because <laughs> the mods screwed it up real bad. The internal mod manager means that I can't, can't use anything that I that's not included and some of the most important ones that we had were included so I don't strictly know what to do I gotta gotta go through the idea of like turning off mods one by one to the things that might conflict and turn off them one by one to make sure that like if there is one that's making it not work turn off that one or turn off anything not mandatory and then go from the top like replay the whole thing and that would be fun but if that's what's got to be done that's what's got to be done she's still wounded 16 but everyone's heals on cooldown so Please don't miss. Okay, I'm starting to knock Audrey. All right. What the fuck? She's really not pulling her weight on this one. Kind of used to the sniper rifle doing incredible damage, but instead it's not. Oh, jeez. Here we 
cover. One more turn till she gets a free heal. One more turn till he gets his heal. Forty percent. Come on, Aiga. 71%. Come on. Team damage ain't nothing to snort at. Come on. This is almost complete. Were we at eight of ten? How do I? But yeah. But the pumps. The pumps. They're not going. Shit. Damn it. Compound attack. Good, knock down his AP, love that. Uh might just nerf bolt, I guess. Lovely. 70% chance. Fiving is gonna be nine of 10. I, did, I thought stopping the pumps would do it, but I guess not, right? One of the runners is down. Ugh. Glory. We love Glory. She's back up now, you fuck. Oh, it's a great warble sound. It goes like this. Often when he's drinking a bottle or gnawing on his own arm or something. Fuck. What? She was clearly out of... Okay. Guess not, huh? Well, that didn't hit her. Is he doing the pumps? Like slow down the process at all? I guess not. Um, I just, let's see what happens if I use it. Disengage safety protocol. Okay. My characters didn't get off it because they'd finished. They got off it because they were knocked off. They didn't finish the process. Your vision process completes, filling Fire Ving with a deadly virus. Vauclair shouts in triumph as he releases her. Berlin will burn. You have failed. Sorry, epic DCS. Okay, well. That 
fills me with more understanding. Damn, what is cool. You see that? You ask comrade? He says very yes. You ask me? I don't know. I'm gonna go with no. I learned the intended and learn the intended solution. That should be enough. Oh, come on, Iga. One more crit. You can do it. Yay! That it takes multiple turns is pretty whack, gotta tell you. Like, not in a that's bad game design, I wouldn't have. It's not really my thing. But, oh, it raises attention in exactly the way they wanted it to, I'm sure. No, there's no one strictly next to him, so... Come on. Yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. Two actions. Still can't get them both with one. That absolutely sucks. Nuts to you, Vent B. He's got three, just go vent it. Well and truly out, okay. Jeez. Aha! Try to disrupt the one person who can't be disrupted. Because they're not doing anything. So, are you done? Did you complete the process? Will I be highly disappointed if I try and kill this person and then learn that it was all in vain? And you should have stayed right next to him? Not venting virus. Okay, well. I can only get one. Okay. Let's just make a... No, fuck it. Do it now, rather than later, right? 67%, like, why is it so? First off, let's see what happens if I use this, right? Disengage, vent A. Automatically be A. Can I only do one at a time, maybe?
just don't know. 48%. Better reload then. Oof. Laura is probably much better attacking. So Dietrich is no longer venting gas, because he took a hit, I think. Go use that one then. Like okay, it's no longer going up there. That's that's cool. Maybe you need to use it twice on each one. I say trying desperately to figure out what the fuck the game needs from me. Save the dragon. Save the dragon, save the world. Uh, okay. Is he venting of gas? Oh, nasty. God. I guess, like, we are well and truly flanked there, so it's my own fucking fault. But also, on the other hand, ow! Dietrich is done. I'm gonna have to Google this, I bet. Because I'm lost. <laughs> this is the nerd. Because the gas is flowing there again. It looks like it's still going. I just don't, I don't know if we should rely on that as the main indicator, but still. It's only at 4 of 10, though. I feel like we've had much more than one or two rounds. I've got to get the fuck out of here, dude. Fuck the ley line, you're just, you're exploding. Keep the process going, Doctor. I'll kill them myself. <laughs> One of the runners is down. Forgot the game pauses when I ult tap. It's kind of irritating, to be honest. Safety protocol vent B. Of 
feel like we've done a lot of virus venting. Yeah, because he died, that's right. Get another one? No. Maybe it should have been some of these fetishes. That would have been a great idea, actually. Whoops. So let's not try and do multiple of them then. Let's just wait, I guess. Run. Venting virus still. And if our level is at seven, we're so fucked. Take the feedback damage. Drained. 28. Fuck. This process is almost complete! Yeah, it is. Somehow. So you're done. Have you finished it? You can use this pump station again though. Oh, I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. This is driving me mad. Stops him from dying. Breathes fire there. And I think at one point it helped us. I don't know why it didn't this time. Oh boy. Fuck. Why did it hit glory? I'm so stressed. She's at nine. We can't stop this. Oh boy. So determined. 
to see this through. I swear it. I swear it. Okay. Emergency override key? Wait, I can use that here? We don't have enough movement. Is he gonna get to 10 at the end of this round? Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Google in time. Okay, what you Jack and if you interact with all the pump stations, you'll unlock an associated vent. Opening the vent will stop the virus timer for one turn. But the character involved will get petrified and miss the rest of their current turn, plus their next turn. You can repeat the process of both pump stations as many times as you'd like. Once you've killed enough, Audrin enters, enters the battle. Kill the mage. Remove the armor. Then the emergency show off is how you do it. Okay. Advice I've read just now was ignore the mechanics, kill all the enemies you can, despawn Audrin, kill him as fast as possible. Okay, well, I'll give that a go. Um, I seriously thought you could, like, stop. Stop the pump, maybe? Stop the whole pump station, maybe? <laughs> Good job. Oh shit! Wrong fucking character. Anyway, we can buff her up and... Oh, good miss, you idiot. Jesus. I feel like loading my save after that. Uh, as read, the emergency override that Audrin is carrying is used there. And then that's how you win. Yeah, he's carrying the thing. <laughs> so by killing a lot of enemies fast, he comes out faster. And if he comes out faster, you can get the key faster. So his friends call him. <laughs> the executive bodyguard has a lot. That's a huge dodge chance, buddy.
Well. Please, it'd be so funny. Ah, that's so close. Look, not bad. It's just quite as good as I'd hoped. There's the fucker. Don't like how that ended our turn immediately, but fair enough. That's fucked. That ended our turn immediately. I guess we're just killing time until he appears anyway. Love being able to heal in combat. The advice is kill his mage. Mages as soon as possible. Don't miss. Good. Minus 5 HP, bleeding, minus 2. Yeah, he'll die. Okay, so. Just hope this doesn't hit glory. It sure did. I don't really like how you can't reduce his AP below 1. Or below two, I guess. Don't miss. Good job, buddy. Just real wounded. Strip his armor. Get up there. Armor damaged. Stack that bleed damage. Believe in you, Glory. Fully heal that techno lady. Never gonna have a better chance to shoot this guy with a shotgun. Yeah, okay, the guy's advice is pretty good. He's nearly dead. And we're on eight. Eight. Regen's a lot of health, doesn't he? Come on, Pen. Come on, Pen. Better than nothing. What if we just... One... Two... Three. Stop the virus infusion process before it completes. The virus infusion has been ab aborted. Now I guess we're gonna survive. Hey, ass butt.
No, it was not try and drain. It would go terribly. I didn't even summon a heal. The spirit. You're an ass, man. See that? Kill your ally. Don't do that. Just want the dot on him because he dodges so much. It's had real high agility. Anyway. Snapfire. 99% chance, 80% chance. Get him. Good. Oh, amazing. Well done. Oof. No tactical breach wizards is on the list. It's a Looks like a damn fine game. <clears throat> but we're gonna... <laughs> not exclusively, but probably gonna focus on games I own. Otherwise, how am I gonna afford that sword I keep talking about? Seven bleeding two. We get this eviscerate off, though. They'll die anyway. Sixty... 67. Amazing. Just gotta stop risking it, because it never fucking works. What kind of sword do we want? One handed? English? Uh, something for sword and shield? Surprise! That was some sort of massive Witcher blade to have on my back. You can do both, right? For Claire, we're so mad. I gotta tell you, so fucking mad. <laughs> Some sort of one-handed blade, English, to be used with sword and shield. Hello, Vauclair. Once again, a transpass window separates you from Agent Vauclair, but this time his steadfast will is gone. He stands motionless, hands at his sides, eyes dead. Spent. The strength that drove him, the resolved resolve that couldn't be shaked, shaken by sickness or time or age, is gone. It's theirs now. The world. All this. Come out of there, Vauclair. Get away from that control panel. Hello, Diana. Enjoy the sleepy night. For what? To be toyed with for, by creatures beyond time? To receive justice? The worms will continue their machinations, consolidate their power, extract their tribute. And humanity? We are no more than treasure to them. Favoured baubles to be collected, items to be traded, resources to be spent or hoarded. He sweeps his eyes across the carnage that was his life's work until they come to rest on the dragon. He grits his teeth. Forty-two years. Forty-two years and we finally had our chance to make a difference. And you destroyed it. I gave everything I had. I everything, everything I loved. I'm sorry, homie. Optional. Free firewing. Open door, that doesn't say leave, so... Yeah, there you go. Operations terminal. Dragon Chamber Operations Control. Sequence Operations Control, Frenzo. Ordron A1. Panacea has been taking off line by external override. 
fusion process aboard a dragon is not infectious. Lower the astral entity containment cell into the chamber. Astral entity containment cell has been lowered. Unlock the chamber's exit door. Action completed. Auxiliary door unlocked. Too late now, cleric. Set the facility to self-destruct. Warning. This process will lock down all further the terminal access. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yep. Hit the Y key. You know, it's funny. I actually just followed instructions and pressed the Y key and nothing happened. As so you're about to tap your finger on the key, you feel a hand clasp your shoulder. Hang on. That would leave Firewing, both a dragon and a woman, to burn to death. Is that what you really want? Hmm, let me reconsider. Hit the end key. Walk away. I'm not surprised you're sleeping. That makes sense. Containment console. The gaunt woman stares wide-eyed as you approach. She presses one hand to the wall of her glass prison, closes her eyes and mouths one word. Please. The console next to the containment cell appears to control a variety of functions related to the cell's operation, including its life support systems, next to which is a small intercom button. Activate the intercom to speak to Fiving. A green light in activates inside the containment cell and the gaunt woman flinches up at it, startled. Then an understanding appears on her face and she begins to speak, her eyes flashing from her dragon body and back to you again and again. So close. So close now, so close. The elf has done as what has been done. The longest flight needs its end. She's so close. So very close now. She stops suddenly. Her eyes take in the devices surrounding and invading the dragon's body. The tubes of viscous lo yellow liquid running into it. The monitors flashing their status. Recognition and horror explode onto her face and she screams a long, mournful wail. For Clint, no. No. Defiled. I am defiled. Her face contorts in a mask of fury and her mouth opens wide, wider than it should be possible. Her neck cranes forward and her head swings from side to side as she hisses her rage. She slathers, her spittle hitting the glass between you as she speaks. Despoiler, piss ant, vermin, pig dog. He dares touch my sacred me. Shall rend him, flee him, burn, burn, burn. Ash, nothing left but ash. She stands there, panting for a moment, spent, and her eyes narrow, focus, ice over. It will be slow, Vauclair. I will make it slow. Delicious. Vauclair is dead, Fiving. The gaunt woman breathes a ragged breath, releases it slowly. When she speaks again, her voice is flat. Will you release me now, elf? Make me whole again, whole? Maybe, but you need to answer some questions first. You dare! No, no, ask. Ask your questions, little elf, so that I may escape this cage. The long sleep awaits. The long flight will finally end. How do I know you won't hurt anyone else? Swear it. Fiving will swear it. Very well, then swear it. Swear. Yes, swear. Swear to hurt no man, no beast, nor tree, nor crop, nor building. Fiving will fly to the long sleep until the next age of the world for the... Forever task, the shelter, the shield, the shepherd. The shelter, the shield, the shepherd? Sacred, it's sacred, it is sacred. The deed must be done, the shelter, the sheep, the shepherd. Now let me go and me, but release me. Release. Re use astral perception to read five things aura. Your third eye slides open, revealing a tubes and machinery of Vauclair's infusion chamber is a cold, dead grey. You look to the right, to the beast entangled in a cold nest of metal and plastic. Although it still grows, glows with life, you notice that the ore radiating from the dragon's body is damaged, sickly, dull. Your gaze is drawn to the left, to the woman trapped in the cold, hard cell. A harsh white light blazes from her aura, temporarily blinding you, causing shimmering blue globules to dance before your eyes. Pendulin, can you hear me? It takes time, but you focus past the glare of her aura to see the swirls of black and sickly green sneaking through Fiving's astral form, cutting swaths of shadow into her light, spilling it backwards into nothingness. Your hand slowly drifts up on its own accord, reaches out, touches the aura glowing through the grey of the containment cell. What's it doing? Seeing the truth, I think. The all-encompassing cold hits you like a sledgehammer, and your mind is overloaded by the ordeal. Awakening. Eyes opening for the first time in an, an age. 
The spectrum of colours is beautiful, broader than humanity can imagine. Astral and physical space are one to you, and the green is alive, waiting to show you its growth during your long sleep. The nest has served its purpose, and you leave it behind, taking to the air, exulting in the flex of your muscles, the spread of your wings, the wind on your scales. As you soar over mountains even older than you, the memories come flooding back, wheeling in the sunshine, basking in the sun. The smell of the green, the sounds of nature's symphony, your heart fills with a thought. And then it is torn apart. You smell it first, and the stink of it chokes you, makes you wretch, and then you see it. As far as your keen eye can reach. Human stone and metal. Glass, flickering light, sprawled across the land, slicing into the sky, lording over it, smothering the whole of the world. Dead, colourless, without connection, nature's graveyard. You ride the headwind, hovering in space as the world stops. You crush your eyes close, and when they open again, you can see only one colour. Red. Your vision ends and your connection to Fire Wing's astral form is broken. You woke up to find your world destroyed, didn't you, Fire Wing? We, we killed the green. The gaunt woman stops her pacing and her eyes slowly rise to meet yours. Lucid, unblurred by time or torture or separation from her body. When she speaks, her voice is flat. Yes, gone. All gone. The cold has won, the world is metal, Firewing is lost. You're not lost, you said you would begin again, remember? That is the eternal task, yes, to sleep the long sleep, begin again in the next age of the world. She wraps her arms around herself, quietly shivering. Lost, Firewing is lost, there will be no long slumber, the world is dead now, and Firewing is dead. She looks at you, sadly, longingly. Will you finish it, little elf? Will you end Firewing? No, Firewing, a forever task requires patience and faith. The next world could be better. I've been ripped from my body, little elf, imprisoned in this girl, imprisoned in this cage, tortured longer than the span of your entire lifetime, and I have been defiled. The green is defiled, spoiled. There is no forever for me. Forever is dead. I do not want to sleep the long sleep. I want oblivion. End me, little elf. The green... Needs you, Firewing. You are her shelter, her shield, and her shepherd. Don't abandon her. I cannot abandon what does not exist. The green is gone. The cold has won. Wait, the green still lives? You haven't seen Amazonia. It's covered in jungle. Her brow furrows and a head of stringy hair inclines. Jungle? I hear that a feathered serpent rules it. Her eyes widen as the memories return. Mujashi has returned? It must be a she... Nothing is over, dragon. She holds her head in her hands. Nothing is over? You, f you are fiving. While you live, the green will live. The gaunt woman pulls herself to her full height, speaks as if to herself. While the green still lives, the task remains. Until the last world ends. The vessel holding the dragon lifts her face to a sky she cannot see. Perhaps it is not too late. Sleep. Sleep would bring healing. My nest. Her fragile form trembles, but she steadies herself. When she speaks again, her voice is calm at peace. If you release me, little elf, I will sleep the long sleep. I will begin again in the next age of the world. Sleep well, Firewing, and goodbye. The gaunt woman drops to her knees, her face reflecting a series of emotions, surprise, relief, appreciation, and finally, peace. And the light exits her, exits her eyes, and she falls to the floor of her tiny cell, her body limp and lifeless. For a long moment, nothing happens. And without warning, the entire chamber fills with a blinding light. You can see nothing. All goes eerily quiet. And then somewhere, just at the edge of your hearing, you think you can recognize the faint whispering of voices. They sound sad and far away. Just as you think you might discern the voices, there is a massive crash and the entire chamber starts to shake. Disoriented, you stagger for several moments, still blinded and trying to recover. You steady yourself and your senses return in time to see the faint form of the dragon disappearing in the distance. Then five thing, then five thing is gone. My head tells me that we released a dragon, and I can't help feeling it. But I can't help but feeling we did the right thing. I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Firewing wasn't just any dragon. She was a great dragon, Dietrich. An insane great dragon. Lord knows what she's going to do now. You'll be fine. My gut tells me that she's going to disappear, find a nice cozy place to sleep off this age of the world, and try again next time. 
Let's hope your gut is, r is right. She turns to you. There's nothing more for us here. Let's get back home. Can't pick up his huge minigun? Like, I'd like to pick up his huge minigun before we go. That thing sucked to be on the other side of it, so... Set a facility self-destruct. Yes. Base destruction commencing. System offline. You punch a button and alarm klaxons blare. An ominous rumbling sound fills the air and the walls start to shake. That sells that. Come on, boss. Let's get the fuck out of here. Right behind you. Why not? <laughs> fuck this place. You're about to exit this location. Return to the Koi's Bazaar. Continue? Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Also, the jumper dried. You step out of the van, climbing in down into the tunnel leading back to your safe house. Just hours ago, you saved Berlin from fire and ash from the would-be sacrifice of Dr. Adrian Vauclair. It feels strange now, returning in secret, in silence. The other residents of the Koi's Bazaar go about their business, unaware of what almost happened to you tonight. <laughs> it's finally over. Your team and your kids is safe once again. Also, I don't know if I said it out loud. Thanks for the 36 month resub, Loxy. That's a hell of an effort. Good lord. Well done. There's a lot of subbing going along, going around here. Very pleased to hear it. Clean slate. Destroy the Draconic Research Lab. It's a good achievement for us. So do we just, do they all just go ahead and leave us here? Or? You stay in the van, it'll be more dramatic. The team is waiting when you walk in. Their faces are haggard, their shoulders slumped. Was there a point to all this, Pendulum? We lost Paul, lost Monica, of course, Bizarre. So many people dead. It was just supposed to be a simple job, remember? A milk run? Get into the estate, snatch some data, and get home in time for worm talk on the tread. Yeah, but it wasn't a milk run. Fort Claire's plan failed because of us, that's something. Yeah, I mean, I'd hope so, right, Leona? I get that, Pendulin, I do, but that's not who I am. I'm a soldier, I take orders and execute them. This whole thing about dragons taking over the world, the thought of them slowly hoarding everything, it's too big to think about. We're street level, we run the shadows, that's it. Worrying about these sort of issues is beyond our pay grade. That's what they want. That's what they need. The corpse, the dragons, the politicians, everyone. They want us to think that we can't make a difference. They put effort, a lot of effort, into making us feel small, insignificant. But we're not. We had the power in our hands today. We had a choice and we made it. And because of that, the world is different. For good or for ill. That's right. For good or for ill. We can't see the future. I don't think that anyone can, but the world is different now, and we're the ones who changed it. So, did we, you know, did, did, did we win? I'll tell you what we did. We avenged Monica and Paul. That was what we set out to do, and we did it. You watch your team take this in. I got nodding in agreement. Glory staring straight ahead, lost in thought. Dietrich frowning, eyeing the floor, and Blitz fiddling with his deck and pretending not to understand. I got breaks the silence. So now what? Monica's gone? Paul's gone? Do we keep running together, or is this the end of the road? Gloria steps forward. Her expression is troubled. I'm afraid that I'm out, for a while at least. I have some personal business to attend to. There's a man I need to find, a vicious repulsive monster who needs to be brought to justice. Pendrelin knows what I'm talking about. I might be gone for a long time. For the time being, you should write me off. Maybe find someone to fill my shoes, but this place is my home and you people are my family. I promise you when the job is done, I'll come back to the Koi's Bazaar. I, I hope that you'll still have me. I'm proud of you, Glory. I hope that you'll find what you're looking for. Glory nods. I will. And Pendulin, thank you. I'll miss you, love. Be safe. Dietrich turns to you. Well, I'm in. I'm getting kind of old for a shadow runner, but I'd rather die in the shadows with you people than live. I don't know. I thought I had something going there. Whatever. The point is, I'm in. That was beautiful, man. I could turn to you. So, Pendulin, you're going to stick around a Coist Bazaar and keep running your shadows with me? You've done a hell of a job. I'd be happy to follow your lead. I've never run with a team this good. I'd be stupid to give it up. Right there with you, Pendulin. Iga looks around, realizes that she forgot Blitz. Uh, what about you, Blitz? Oh, I am most definitely in. Totally. <laughs> Insane dragons. Arseholes with enormous machine guns. Devil dobs. Dogs that hump your leg when no one's looking. <laughs> this is a place for me, no question about it. How could I say no? 
That seals it. If Blitz is in, how could we lose? Exactly. I guess not to laugh. Then <laughs> she's back to business. Before I forget, the Turkish coffee guy sent one of his street rats over before you got here. Said he wanted to talk to you about something. Thanks. I'm going to see what's going on in the Quarry's Bazaar. I'll stop by the coffee shop on the way. Oh, sucks. We, we lost glory. But hey, glory's got vengeance to get. <laughs> got a cult leader to deal with, huh? Alright. Alton, what you got for me, man? Algernon hums tunelessly to himself while he fiddles with one of his many talismans. He sees you, smiles broadly. He is absent, the clear-sighted one. To be certain, this elf is to be heralded with much praise, Algernon half-dream. Through the release of his great worm, we'll have ramifications, to be sure. This day is full of portent. I don't know about the dragon. A friend. A friend. The release of the great worm is of interest to a multitude of beings, and Algernon half-dream is among their circle. Things are different now. Different how? Her expression slackens, becomes dreamy. Before the next cycle's end, the firing worm will speak again with the voice of the maiden. The dancer will spin, the seal will melt, and the calm lake will burn again. This I prophesy. Algernon poses his lips. You make it sound like a bad thing. Do not jest, half-dream. We must be going, and soon. What the hell is going on? Why are you leaving? I have business that has become urgent. It will not be urgent until tomorrow, half-dream. You will have time to pack up your wares. There is more to it than that, woman, and you know it. He bows here with a flourish. Goodbye, Pendulin. We'll meet again, I think, but though not for a long, long time. <sighs> Sleep, Leona. Yeah, all right. I've already saved Clary. Like, what's going to happen? Another dude with a giant minigun bursts out of the cafe and shoots us all? <clears throat> Actually, that could definitely happen. We're going to talk to our tug and I, I'm going to assume finish the game. Ah, how very proper this uh, it is that we may speak again, no master of mayhem. I have a proposal for you that could prove most lucrative to us both, I find him. Most lucrative. Fortune will surely smile upon our blessed partnership if you will only accept. I am miss listening, O oh, master of hyperbole. With the passing of her Amsel, may God bestow his mercy upon him. You can find yourself a dead fixer. I wish to offer some of my services to you in this regard. You will find that that dog Burukazi is the most connected and business savvy partner. It sounds like a match made in heaven. Uh, to, how do we start? I have already found a potential client, a blessed one, a most prosperous one with deep pockets. He is eager to meet you. When you are ready, take the Uban to Brandenburger Tour. He will find you there. Brandon. Brandon Burger Tour, got it. As soon as I finish up here, I'll go meet him. All right, I will auto save. I will quick save again. There you go. Oh, okay. Sorry, the text that says "game saved" appears in the top left, underneath my face, so you don't see me quick saving. finishing the game finishing the game at break time that's fucking perfect i'm gonna let the credits play while i go and make myself a drink congratulations friends we're finishing shadow and dragonfall oh fuck sephiroth's on the goddamn train the train car is empty except for the man in the immaculately tailored italian suit you notice him watching you for several minutes while the train rumbles its way towards brandon Burgator. finally he speaks the stranger's words come out slowly in a deep, melodious tone that is easy to hear, despite the noise of the train. He takes his time, accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, tasting them as if they were a delicacy. Hello? I assume that the business with Dr. Vauclair is concluded, yes? Vauclair? I've never heard of him. Yes, of course. In your line of work, discretion is required. That is good. The, hand, the man inclines his head slightly in introduction. Hans Brackhaus, I represent an interested party, someone who wishes to know about your encounter with Dr. Vauclair. Does this interested party understand that information is a commodity? Brackhaus continues, My employer also wishes to hear about a Lady Fiving, a fascinating creature so unlike her brothers and sisters. It is a relief that she is now free. Dragons are not meant for captivity. The Lady Fiving, least of all, she was special in this world. I am sure you would agree.
Maybe, but let's face it, dragons are scary. He inclines his head and the corner of his mouth curls into a bit of a smile. That is true, as it always has been, as is anything that metahumanity does not understand. You look at him off and barely perceive sentience. He glances its way, amused as it flutters towards a bright light in a vain attempt to what? To enter, to draw strength, to burn. It doesn't know. Its epic life struggle is barely a one one hundredth of your lifespan. The sum total of its existence is nothing against the vast scale of your struggles, your hopes, your dreams, which you could not fathom in a thousand, thousand years. Poor moth. He leans forward. You will live and die between the beads of a dragon's heart, my friend. What hope do you have of understanding them? No kidding. Insane dragons are even harder to understand, but I was able to get through to her for a moment at least. Brackhouse studies your face closely. Were you? Were you indeed? I'm pleased to hear it. And what did you learn? The dragons aren't all alike. That is a facile lesson, but yes, dragons are individuals, no different from humanity in that regard. But even with their differences, Five Ving stands apart. My Lady Five Ving was a nurturer, a caregiver, rare among her kind. Where? Her brothers and sisters saw a prize, uh, the world as a prize to be won. She saw it as a garden to be tended. Can you imagine? For world upon world, the, fire, the great dragon Fiving brought wisdom and succor to countless souls. And she was loved for it, exalted, a goddess. She awoke from a long slumber in 2012 and saw what the world had become, what meta-humanity had done to the garden she had tended for the great ages. She struck, struck with the rage, regret, frustration, and anguish of a mother whose children have played with fire and burned the house down, killing themselves in the blaze. She unleashed fire and death through her tears. She, now she's free again, and insane, the perfect addition to the sixth world. You seem to know a lot about dragons, Hans. Think your employer wants you telling me all this? I'm sure of it. You may consider this conversation an employment interview for a very influential client, one who plays extraordinarily well. Now listen, the man removes his hands from his knees, folds them in his lap. I tell you all of this so that you have context, perspective, before I ask you this next question, Shadowrunner. If Dr. Vauclair's weapon had not required dragon fire, if it had been capable of destroying every dragon on Earth without touching a hair or metahumanity's head, would you have used it? No. Wiping out an entire species is wrong. Monochromatic thinking, but I appreciate a career criminal's attempt at morality. Of course you feel that wiping out a species is wrong. The feeling is a subtle but ingrained defense mechanism that should be cherished. One day it may be metahumanity, poised for extermination. Well onto the business at hand. My employer wishes to secure your team services for a sequence of operations that would likely require the remainder of 2054. I don't know. After Green Winters, I need to have a better idea of who I'm working for these days. Of course, and you've dealt with several false flag contracts as well recently. It is an awful thing to be manipulated, I am sure. There will be no secrets between us. Your employer will be the great dragon Lofweir, who is sometimes referred to as the Golden Worm. Perhaps you have heard of him. What makes you think I'm going to make a deal with a dragon? His eyes glint. Because you've already been working for him for some time now, mine her. Or do you think Green Winters found the Harfield Manor on his own? Well, that puts a new spin on things. Doesn't it? The rattle of wheel on track gives way to a shimmying screech. Gradually, the train begins to slow. He glances up at the U-Bahn map on the wall and smiles. <laughs> this is my stop. Come in. Well, what do you know? Looks like this is my stop too. The train comes to a halt and the doors open. Brackhouse stands, brushes off his Italian suit and exits without another word. As he turns to follow, your eye catches an advertisement for worm talk above the subway car door. Brackhouse glances back at you from the platform, the light from a car reflecting yellow in his gaze. You step out of the subway car and follow him up the stairs into the Berlin night. Into the shadows. Berlin News Facts contains just one report of a large-scale explosion in the countryside east of Berlin. An abandoned castle is reportedly consumed in a massive fireball that shakes the countryside and leaves a crater 60 feet deep. A natural gas leak is suspected and the location is soon cordoned off by unidentified corporate forces. The news is eclipse when Cider Krupp announces its acquisition of Ariane Space, the last remaining arm of the European Space Program. 
The Flux State's anarchist rule remains until 2055 when joint corporate forces acting with the support of the German government invade the city. It is widely known that the Great Dragon Lofwir is responsible for orchestrating this action. After weeks of fighting, the surviving anarchists are forced to retreat to the eastern part of the city. The truce is signed in 2060 and Berlin is again divided by a wall. The Great Dragon Dunkelzahn is elected president of the United Canadian and American States in 2057. He is promptly assassinated as he leaves an inauguration party at the Watergate Hotel while in human form. Popular opinion is that another Great Dragon is responsible, as only a dragon can kill a dragon. But those in the shadows hint that an act of powerful blood magic is the cause. Grainy photographs of a large winged creature crossing a full moon above the Haas Mountains circulate in Germany for several years. Conspiracy theorists take this as evidence that a new great dragon has emerged. When no further sightings are reported, interest wanes. The name of Dr. Adrian Vauclair has been lost to the shadows. Uh, Dunkelzahn being assassinated is like a major plot event, I believe, in 4th edition Shadowrun, maybe 3rd. Uh, there's a series of adventures that explain what the fuck's going on there. It's interesting. It relates to Absinthe, what she was talking about with the horrors. <sighs> the worst part about anarchist rule is that it never lasts forever because corporate I interests with German governments invade and break things apart. Congratulations, everybody. We've all finished Shadowrun Dragonfall. Director's cut. We essentially 100% of the game, right? We saw nearly every single fucking quest. And it took 14 episodes. Good God, that's a long fucking game. And not just because we lost all our progress at least once. <laughs> Congratulations, they have brain schemes. Also, I believe it had like its 12 year anniversary. Fucking uh, Dragonfall. Release year. 2014. 10 years. 10 years. Very good indeed. So I think we did excellent work here. You should all be very pleased with yourself. We're going to try a few shorter games now. <clears throat> we got Vampire Therapist coming up later tonight after a break. And then probably back into Final Fantasy for a little bit. We're going to jump into 10 2 because <laughs> it's a... Uh, Relatively new, but hey, we've got a monitor capture, so you, yeah, nothing suspicious is there. Final Fantasy 16 has been released on PC. I didn't know that. It was like, until the day it was released, I was like, what the fuck? I didn't expect that. So, I'm going to get back into the series because while the first play will be mine and mine alone, I don't want to do a blind play of it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there you go. 18th of September 2014. Um,. I'll probably be up to replaying it by the time we get to this point. So Final Fantasy X 2, come up real soon. And then we skip 11 because it's an MMO I have no interest in playing. 13, 13, 2, 13, 3. And then Final Fantasy 14, and I will do the whole story mode, but new game plus and as fast as possible. Okay, friends, that was really fantastic. Let's have a break. We'll be back soon, okay? Enjoy the background music for a bit.
Yo. I made a drink. I'm not sure if I could describe it as a cock. Shit, I made a drink. I'm not sure if I could describe it as a cocktail, but I certainly made it. What it is? 30 ml of Kilt Lifter, 11% mead by uh, Black Dog Meadery. Delicious. And uh, 30 ml, because like equal parts is fun, of a slightly peated whiskey. It's like a sweet, smoky mead. Delicious. Fantastic. <clears throat> hey, wanna play Vampire Therapist? Want another game? Free content updates. Okay. Jeez. Also, I'm gonna hit the stop recording.